cool. Now, what got you into writing? When I was 14 in high school, I was having a difficult time. As you all know, freshman year is probably the rough. hardest one. Yeah, it's rough. <laughs> it's just rough, ladies and gents, yeah. I met this girl. Her name is Rebecca Boyce. I love her to death. She's my best friend. And she helped me get out of my shell a lot over the years. Cool. I started reading this book series that she liked called uh, Vampire Kisses, and I loved it so much it made me feel like the person, the girl, the main character in the story who was in it, was a lot like me. She felt ostracized and felt like she didn't know how to connect with people her own age because of the way she was. So I started writing my own story. I wanted to put myself in this world that made me feel safe and made me feel like I was exactly where I was supposed to be. Awesome. So, so books really kind of like helped you find uh, yourself, if you will. It helped you kind of center yourself, find out what's going on. They did. I read a lot when I was growing up. My grandmother used to take me to the public library all the time. And I'm not as into it as I used to be, but there are some favorites that I can always turn back to when I need to. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Montez McCambridge from itsmontez.com. Yeah, as you can see here, I've been making content, been pressing it up. Make sure that you all are tuning in and checking out some of the stuff that I've got. If you'd like to get in contact with me, all you need to do is email me at itsmontez.com at gmail.com. Tell me the project that you're looking to have done, and I'm sure we can make something happen. Again, ladies and gentlemen, it's Montez McCambridge from itsmontez.com. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you don't do that, you can't keep up. Duh. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, I'm patiently waiting and watching Mother say